Good morning, JCA. Welcome back to another edition of Body Sculpt Live with your instructor, Sarah Profito. Sorry, I'm starting a few minutes late. I was having some technical difficulties, and I think we've got them all worked out. For today's total body strength training pieces of equipment, you can use a bench or a chair or any solid surface. If you don't have that, you can also modify the exercise, do it from a mat off the floor. I have a pair of dumbbells. I have an exercise band. I have a mat and that's about it. Bring your water bottle, grab your shoes. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna move to a wall, holding on uh, to start with a dynamic leg swing warm up. If you're watching me live, make sure you like and comment so I know that you're here. All right, find a wall, find a support. Let's go right into some leg swings. Starting off gentle, slowly increasing your range of motion as you feel like you're loosening up. Good, let's go five more. Five, four, three, really get that range of motion. Two, and one. When you're ready, we're gonna switch sides, leg swings. Good, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Facing your pole, facing your wall, side to side, open your hip. One, two, two more. 11, two sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Beautiful. You can continue to hold on to your wall for support or balance. We're going to go into a dynamic hip opener. Opening, close the gate. From a posture position, start with a high knee. Up and over your imaginary hurdle, tap the ground. Up and back. Beautiful. One. Up and over. Up and back. Two. You can make this more of a challenge by removing the ground tap. Three. So a little bit more balance here. Beautiful. Four. And five, switching sides. One, high knee over the gate. Two, good. Three, four, with or without the taps. One more, and five. First leg alternating. So over, back, second leg, over, back, first leg over, back, second leg, over, and back. Beautiful, let's step back with our left leg into a lunge position. Chest is open, abs are in, hips are under. We're gonna work this hip flexor. We can intensify this by extending our right arm. We can, sorry, extending your left arm, but we can lean towards the right and look over that left shoulder. Abs are in. And take a breath. Beautiful, step four, switching sides. My right leg is going back, bend in my right knee, abs are in, hips are tucked under, squeeze the glutes, extend that right arm is optional, lean towards the left, look towards the right, and breathe. Beautiful, awesome, let's go ahead and grab a band. You can wrap the edges to get rid of some of that slack. And we're going to go through a pass through. Arms are straight over your head and back. Dynamic warm up of the shoulders. Beautiful. Two. If you find you're getting stuck, go ahead and pull that band. So instead of bending and twisting, pull that band further. Three. Keep the arms straight, chest open and lifted. Four. No shrugging. Five. Good. Six. Seven, eight, nice, nine, ten, let's go for two more, eleven, beautiful, and twelve. This time leaving your left arm down, right arm comes up, helicopter, right arm down, left arm at the top, and reverse. One, good, doing that nine. 
nice movement in the shoulders, in that thoracic spine. It's you. Beautiful. Three, this can easily be done without a band or even with a belt. And you get a piece of rope. Four. Beautiful. Five. And six, other side. Good. We're going to stretch our lats and our side. So we're going to extend overhead, feet together, chest is open, keeping our hips stacked. We're going to lean just the upper body to one side, looking over your shoulder. Take a breath. Keep the belly button pulled in. Pelvic floor is engaged. Hips are tucked under. And we'll center. And we'll switch sides. Beautiful, and we'll center. This time, we're going to push through our hip, deepening the stretch as we lean back to the first side. And center, switching sides. Beautiful. From the same standing position, we're gonna do a band pull apart, warming up our shoulders, our rear delts, our traps, and this time we're going to go from a high to a low position. So the opening, the pull apart, is really going to get that extra rotation of the shoulders, that uh, abduction. And then the low is going to allow us to pinch the low trap and get that upper back really warmed up. So you can adjust your grip to make this appropriate resistance for you. And I'll give you a side view. From a high position, we'll go high, pull apart, low, big shoulder pinch. We want to avoid having our low back arch. So belly in, hips under. Keep it stacked and neutral. Let's go. High to low. For one. Beautiful. High to low. Two. High to low. Again. Pull apart. Three. Very intentionally driving the shoulder blades down and pinching the shoulder blades together. So really retracting and depressing the shoulder blades. Good. Four. Five. If there's too much resistance, you can release. Give yourself more slack. Or if there's not enough, you can... Walk your knees in tighter. Six. Seven. Abs in. Hips tucked. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. One more. And hold. Hold for three. Abs in. Hips tucked. Two. And one, beautiful job. One final warm-up exercise, we're gonna hit the glutes. Go ahead and find your wall, your pole, whatever you have for balance. Finding your posture, abs are, chest is tall, abs are in, hips are tucked. Let's go ahead and lift your outside leg into a high knee. Our bottom foot is gonna be rotated towards the wall, just for balance. And we're gonna open this hip up, making this nice right angle. Imagining there's a table underneath my leg, so I'm not allowed to drop it. I'm actually going to extend my leg out, sliding out, pressing through the heel, and reaching, almost like a standing leg press. We should feel this glute need really activate and bring it in. One, two, every rep you squeeze, you keep the abs in. Three, good. Four, try to keep that leg high, hips are stacked. Five, good. Six, beautiful. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Five, abs in. Four, leg is high. Three, press through the heel. Foot is flexed. Two, squeeze your glutes. Last one, hold. Hold for three. Two, and one. Great job. Switching sides. Toe is turned in towards your balance. Leg is up. Making a right angle. Hips are tucked under. Extend that leg. One. Beautiful. Two. Keep the leg high. Don't let it drop. Three. You can lean away as you extend, as you press, as you reach. Four. It's not a kick. It's a slide. Slide. Five. Keep the leg high. Six, imagine there's a wall behind me, a table beneath me. Seven, eight, feeling the 
the burn, it's okay. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. Today is day 32 of the Omer Burpee Challenge. So we're gonna do 10 burpees just to get started, get us nice and warm, and then halfway we'll get another 10 at the very end, we'll finish with our 12. So remember, any version of the burpee you want, it can be as simple as touching your toes and standing overhead. If you have a support, a bench, you can come down into your modified, come down and step up. So you can step forward, come down, up, add a push up, don't add a push up. Lots of versions here. So pick your poison, as I like to say. We've got 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. All right, our first exercise, we're going to do clockwork lunges. So we're gonna start lunging forward. I'm gonna do this body weight. You can hold a dumbbell if you'd like. We're gonna lunge forward. We're gonna rotate, lunge to the side. We're gonna rotate back, reverse lunge. Then we're going to rotate and do a forward lunge. So we're gonna make it all the way around the clock. You guys ready? Left leg first. Step forward, lunge, beautiful. Rotate to the side, lunge. Reverse lunge, stepping back. Other side, reverse lunge, rotate to the front. That is one repetition. There's a little bit more room. Let's keep going. First leg, lunge, rotate, lunge, reverse, lunge. Beautiful. Other side, lunge, rotate to the front. That's two. How do we modify the lunge? We can go less range of motion. So instead of going all the way to the floor, you can just do a partial range of motion. You can do a little lunge. There we go. Just a little lunge to the front. You can also stand near a wall for balance. That's round three. Good. Rotate. Reverse. Switching sides. Rotate to the front. That's four. First leg. Side. Back. Switch your legs. Rotate to the front. Six. First leg. Rotate. Good. Switching legs. Rotate. Good. I'm using my arms as a counterbalance. Round seven. You can hold them to your side if you need to. Good. Switching legs. Ooh, starting to burn. First leg. Rotate. Reverse. Other side. Rotate. To the front. Eight. Two more around the clock. Forward. Rotate. Back. Back. Rotate. To the front. Nine. Come on. Rotate. Reverse. 
reverse, reverse, rotate to the front and 10. Woo. Nice work. Shake it out. Let's go ahead and grab your bench. All right, sitting on the bench. We're going to do a jackknife crunch. You can hold on for balance. This can also be done from the floor. So I'm holding on to the sides of the front or the back, whatever I need to. Feet are up. I'm going to exhale, extend, bring it back in. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Two, I'm not kicking my legs, I'm pulling from the floor. Three, four, five, good. Six, abs are tight. Seven, eight, I can modify one leg down. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, one more. And twelve. Great work. Let's go ahead and walk our feet forward just a little. So our butt is off the bench, our fingers are on. A lot of people do dips on the bench with their fingers facing forward. I actually like to open up my chest, my fingers facing more to the side or slightly back. That helps alleviate some tension through the shoulders. Modified feet are gonna be tight, making it harder. Legs are gonna be extended. So pick the one that's gonna allow you to have the best range of motion. I'm gonna do kind of in between. So we go down, elbows bend, push slightly back and up. One. Do you want to do triceps? Two. Good. Three. Four. If it's causing pain or difficulty, don't go so deep. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Beautiful. Ten. Five more. Five. Good. Four. Three, beautiful, press through the palm, slightly back, two, and one, great work. Grabbing your dumbbells. I'm gonna lay on my back to work the chest. If you don't have this bench, you can do the same exercise flat from the floor. All right, turning sideways. I've got my dumbbells. I'm going to kick them to the chest position and get nice and flat on this bench. I'm going to go right into a chest press. Exhale up, let the dumbbells touch. Control the descent. One, two, exhale as you press. Three, don't let your low back arch really engage the glutes. Four, good. Five, six, seven. Beautiful. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Turn your palms facing in. We're doing neutral grip press. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Awesome. One arm is going to be staying up. The other arm is going to come down wide. Stability. One, two, 45 degree angle with the arm. Three, four. Five, use your core to stabilize. Six, seven, good. Eight, you're looking strong. Nine, one more. Ten, we're going to switch sides, other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Two and one. Nice job. All 
our neck exercise, staying in this position, we're going to do a dumbbell lat pullover, working the lats, the side of your back. You can do this with one or two dumbbells. I'm going to show you with one. So from one dumbbell, I'm setting it down. I'm taking a nice upside down triangle grip. My arms are extended. And I'm going to reach back with soft elbows, feeling the stretch of this weight pulls from behind me. Then I'm going to exhale, drive my shoulder blades down my back, engage my core, and pull to the elbow of my chest. And I'm pulling from my lats on the side. It's not my arms pulling, it is my lats. I want to feel the shoulder blades. So reach back, feel the stretch, and pull with the lats. Two, beautiful. Reach back, feel the stretch. Exhale, pull with the lats. Three, you're also going to feel your core engaged. It's not a bad thing. Four, make sure we're trying not to arch the low back, but you're really engaging the core, pulling the belly button in towards your spine, the pubic bone towards your belly button. Pelvic tilt. Six, reach, feel the stretch, exhale, pull with the lats. Seven. Eight. Nine. Looks like I'm back having some uh, poor Wi-Fi connection. So if you're just joining me or if you're just reconnecting with me, I'm just reconnecting with you. We just finished one round of our strength training circuit. Grab some water. We're going to go back to our uh, original exercise, but we've got to get 10 more burpees in because we're still on our count, day 32 of the Elmer Burpee Challenge. Grab a sip of water, pick your poison of burpees. We're going to get started in just a second. All right, 10 more burpees. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome work. Our next exercise is our clockwork lunges. Clockwork lunges. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Left leg first. Let's go. Front. Rotate. Back, other leg, back, rotate, front, beautiful, that's one, front, rotate, back, other leg, rotate, front, that's two, oops, front, Rotate. Back. Other leg. Back. Rotate. Front. That's three. Other leg. Front. Rotate. Back. Beautiful. Back. Rotate. Front. That's four. Front. Rotate. Front. That's five. Front. Rotate. Back. Back. Rotate. Front. Six. Front. Rotate. Seven, front, rotate. Ooh, I know you're feeling it. Back, back, other side, rotate.
right. That's eight. Right. Almost there. Come on. Rotate. Woo. Back. Doing that burn. Back. Rotate. Front. That's nine. Front. Almost there. Last circle. Rotate. Back. Back. Come on. Rotate. And front. Awesome work. That was 10. Oh my gosh. I know you feel it. My quads are on fire. Grab a sip of water. Grab your bench. Right, jackknives on the bench, holding on for balance stability. Modify with one leg if you need to. Lean your back, feet are up, extend, exhale, use your core. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, beautiful. Ten, make sure you're engaging your deep core. Belly button into your spine, cubic bone to belly button. Good. Three more. Two more. One more. Awesome. Whew, great job. Dips from your bench. I like to turn my hands slightly out, opening up the chest. Right, you can bend your knees or extend them, your choice. Let's go. One, two, three, four, pushing slightly backwards. Five, six, seven. The movement of the hips is vertical. Eight, we don't want to push away from the bench. Nine, and cross stretch from the shoulders. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Grab your dumbbells. Going back on the bench, we're going to go into a chest press, making sure our shoulder blades are down, our chest is lifted, our upper back is tight and stable. All right, shoulder press. Sorry, chest press. Let's go. One, two, Four, slight arching motion. Five, it's apart. Wide, together. Six, wide, together. Seven, eight, nine, looking good. And ten, stay at the top. Neutral grip, this time straight down, straight up. One, palms are facing each other. Two, drive your shoulder blades down as you press the weights away. Three, Four, almost imagine you're pressing your body away from the weights. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right arm stays, left arm. One, two, three, single arm, you're doing great. Four. Five, six, stabilize with the right. Seven, exhale, each up. I know you feel it. Eight, woo. Nine, you're doing great. And ten, left arm stays, right arm. Let's go. One, two, beautiful. Shoulders down. Three, chest is lifted. Four, hips are tucked. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to stick with one dumbbell for a dumbbell lap pullover. Upside down triangle grip. Reaching back, feeling that beautiful stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Elbows are soft. Pause, exhale. Whew. Exhale, pull with the lat. One, two, and really have to be intentional. Drive the shoulder blades down your back. Three. Four. It's an intentional connection. 
to your left. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. We can do five more. Five. Beautiful. Come on. Reach. Four. Four. Three. Come on. Stay with me. Two. Beautiful. And one. Nice job. Fun. Grab a sip of water. You guys are doing awesome. We just finished two of our strength circuits. We're going to get one more in. You guys ready? Starting off with our final bout of burpees. We've done 20 so far. Today's 32. So this time we've got 12. Choose the version that works for you. Let's do it. Wow, great job. Have a sip of water. We're going to go into our clockwork lunges. All right, smiles are on. Let's go. Forward. Rotate. Reverse. Reverse. Rotate. So that's one. Two. First leg. Forward. Rotate. Reverse. Reverse, rotate, forward, that's three, forward, rotate, reverse, Woo. reverse, rotate, four, I'm starting to lose a little of my balance with this fatigue, and that's okay, we're going to push through it. Reverse, rotate, forward, five, halfway, forward, rotate, reverse, reverse, rotate, forward, that's six, forward, rotate, reverse, Reverse, rotate, forward, seven, forward, rotate, reverse, reverse, rotate, forward, that's eight, forward, rotate, reverse, Reverse. Rotate. Woo! Nine. Come on. This is it. Forward. Rotate. Come on. Stay with me. Reverse. You're being awesome. You're being strong. Rotate. And forward. Woo! Ten. Clockwork. One. Just shake it out. Woo! Feeling the burn. Grab some water. Jack 
Latin knife. Benches. Remember, you can do this from the floor if you don't have a bench. Same setup. For my rock solid who are kings and queens, if you want to try this without balancing with your hands, hands up, that's going to make it harder. So another option, you can always modify one leg or take it up no hands. All right, let's do this. Leg drop, extend, exhale. One, you're moving from the core. Two, it's not a kick, but a pull from the core, a crunch from the core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one, and twelve. Beautiful job. Dips, turning your hands slightly to the side and back. Legs extended is harder, legs bend is easier. Let's go one, two, three, full range of motion, but no pain. Four, pushing your weight slightly back. Five, six, seven, beautiful, eight, nine, Ten, five more. Five, come on. Four, hello triceps. Three, thank you for showing up. Two, woo! And one. Great job, grab your dumbbells, chest press. Stretch, arms are straight, elbows are soft. One, exhale hard, pull with the back. Two, you're initiating the movement from the shoulder blades. Drive your shoulder blades down, follow through with your arms. Three, four, five. Give it a little pause for gravity, for the load. Six, beautiful, we're halfway. Seven. Eight, come on. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Three, come on. Two. And one. Nice work. We're going to move to the floor. Get your mat out if you're not already on it. Home stretch right here. All right, we've got our mat out. We're gonna finish with a little glute burnout. 
You have a couple options. You can stick body weight or you can grab that band that we were using previously. We're going to use it to wrap it around your foot cramp resistance. We're going to do a glute kick back, a donkey kick from all fours. But if you're using the band, you can wrap it and you can continue to wrap it to create however much stability you need to or the resistance that you want. Nice flat back. All right, bend, extend. One, two, three, press through the heel. Four, pushing up and slightly back. Five, good. Six, seven, eight. Come on, big squeeze. Nine, squeeze the glutes. Ten, keep going. One, two, we're burning it out. Squeeze, three, four, five, big squeeze. Six, push back and up. Seven, eight, come on. Nine, 20, three, five more, five, four, come on. Three, two, last one hold for three, two, and one. Awesome work. We're going to switch sides. If you need to, unwrap the band, put it on your other foot. All right, fix that up. Our band is stable and secure. Fours, flat back, bend, extend, donkey kick. One, two, three, four, big squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight, push through the heel. Nine, ten, one, come on. Two, three, big squeeze. Four, make every rep count. Five, six, seven, eight, come on. Nine, 20, three, five more. Five, four, come on. Three. Two, one more hold for three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, you are done. Great job. Couple quick stretches. Whew. Let's go ahead and lay back. We're gonna get that glute stretch. Grabbing your calf, pulling it towards your chest. You can use your other leg to assist. Go this way, scoop your floor from your back. Hand if you're hitting the hip, take a nice breath. And when you're ready, switch sides. And if you look to standing, we did a lot of chest work today, so we're going to do a chest stretch. Find a door, find a wall, placing your forearm into that, leaning forward, opening up, feel that stretch of the pec, all the way to where it connects with the shoulder. You can lean into it, kind of experiment with how you leverage your body to get that good stretch. Ready, switch sides. Forearm against your wall, against your pole. Lean into it, open up. Woo! We did it, we finished. I hope you had an amazing workout. I hope you feel great, ready to start the rest of your day and your week. 
If you like this, please make sure you like, you comment, you share, you follow our JCA page, invite your friends to join the group as well. See the content we have. 17 live streaming classes a week from our home to yours. We also have an amazing functional nutrition dietitian on staff giving a lot of amazing content, offering weekly nutrition workshops that you're welcome to join in. If you had any questions or thoughts about how you can maximize your fitness experience, if you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and shoot me a message and we could set up a time to uh, do a Zoom consultation, complimentary, and see what I could do to help you on your fitness journey. Hope you guys are staying well, have an amazing week, and I will see you next Monday, 9.30, Body Scope Live.